people. The next comedian comes to the stage. Very funny dude, man. Put your hands together for Adam Phillips. Come on, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, what's up? The man, the man. What's up? Woo! Yeah, yeah baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on for me, hold on. Thank you, and give it up for Kenny Ortega, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> give it up for your DJ, hit them really good, give him some love. And for the guy who was going before me, who I've worked with since 2002, give it up for Francisco Andrando, ladies and gentlemen! We paid respect. You guys came out tonight to laugh. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good time. Take your mind off anything negative. Let me hear you say, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Woo! Good looking crowd we got in the house tonight. I'm Adam Phillips. Glad to see you guys. Everybody's nice. Woo! Black folks in the house. Yes, thank you. Both of you. <laughs> Affirmative action. I tell you. I tell you. White folks, where you at? Yeah, I did not get Get out on the street seeing Mama Mia or some shit. Yeah, I did it. Chinitos in la casa, chinos, how y'all doing? I see y'all in the corner representing. How y'all doing? Okay. You look good. Thank you. I got a question. Donde están los Latinos in la casa? I said that from the beginning. I don't know why I do shit the hard way. Oh man, I'm glad to be here. I just turned 50 years old. Give it up, Cincuenta Años! Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Let me tell y'all something, man. 50 came with a bang. I'm 50 years old, and I just found out, Jose, that I'm half Puerto Rican. <laughs> Feel my pain, Raul. I am black by my mother. Puerto Rican by a friend of my father's. <laughs> Went through all these years, when my middle name was Pasquale. Now this shit makes sense. And my wife is even worse. She's black and Jewish. Her name is Shamika Schwartz. I met her. She's like, if I can't buy it wholesale, fuck it, I'm stealing it. We've been happily married. 12 years, man, happily married. Everybody's looking so nice. Any married folks out there today? Yeah! Yeah! Thank you to five of you. As for the rest of y'all, welcome to the Latino version of the Waiting to Exhale convention, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, y'all gotta get married. This shit is beautiful. I'm happily married for 12 years. That's right. Happily married, it is not an oxymoron. This shit does work. Got beautiful children, man. Oh, by the way, you guys, I'm sorry. It's 9.35 for those of us taking medication. <laughs> Put the guy in the back. Thank you. Let me get my Lipitor. I'm glad you said that shit. <laughs> I got dressed up for you guys, man. I heard it was nice fundraise, 100 men, Latinos. I threw on my best suit, my suede shoes. And for you people out there, I threw on my best watch. This is my Gucci watch. This shit is nice! G-U-C-H-I. <laughs> That's right, it's imported from Chinatown. <laughs> Says right on the front, made on Canal Street. This is that good shit right there. See, I like this crowd. I don't even mind the fact that after three minutes, I gotta make y'all laugh one row at a time. I don't even mind that. It's like, this is you guys. <laughs> What's next, Sinbad? <laughs> I wonder where the hell you been. This side of the room is with me. This side is staring at me like, holy shit, que grandote a la casa esta noche. I'm trying to focus. I don't know where to focus because I'm six foot five and I got these hot ass coochie frito lights shining down on me. <laughs> Cooking me like a big ass pastel up here. This is some shit. Un sudor pero con cojones, man, it's hot up here. They're right on my forehead. I'm a little erratic and my energy level is off, so you guys gotta forgive me because I live underneath Dominicans. <laughs> Sleep is not an option. <laughs> Any Dominicans in the house tonight? Thank you. Let me 
everybody pregnant by a Dominican. In the back. Brugal had something to do with that shit, I know. Now, man, you live underneath Dominicans, you're not gonna get no sleep. Cause I don't mind the party. Friday night, Saturday night, little auto soli, little, little Mark Anthony, <laughs> Dami La Buya, that's all good. But 2.30 in the morning on a freaking Wednesday night, I'm trying my best to make crew chief. And all I can hear on top of me is, Nueve, Siete, Puto, Nueve, La Mega. Con los grandes éxitos del reggaeton y bachata. Y María, Siete, Puto, Nueve, La Mega. Y María, Siete, Puto, Nueve, La Mega. Suavemente. I'm like, God, that don't walk up, por favor. They ain't never stop partying. I do these late shows, man, I'm all over the place. I live in an urban neighborhood. I get back to my hood at 2.30 in the morning and I'm hungry as a hostage. And there's nothing open in the hood at 2.30 in the morning except White Castle. White Castle is a very interesting restaurant. It's the only restaurant you go to where you see people praying after they eat. Lord, please don't let me shit on myself before I put the junk shit on the bar. What was I thinking? Messing with these murder burgers, these belly bombers. These are my only white underwear, Lord. Please don't let me embarrass myself. And I'm drinking milkshakes, knowing I'm lactose intolerant. I call your men. Me duele el estómago, pero con cojones, man. White Castle has been making people fart since 1921. That is a long damn time to hold that distinction, man. I gotta give it up for Latinos. You guys had a function, and pretty much it started on time. Give it up for Latin punctuality, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. And I'm saying that to say this. I work in corporate America, and for whatever reason, black folk come into work just a little bit later than everyone else. But that's not where the audacity comes in. Not only do black folks come into work late, Black folks come into work late with breakfast. We don't give a shit. Man, please. Ain't no sense me being late and hungry. That don't make no damn sense. Two hash browns for a dollar, you bet your ass I'm gonna stop it. McDonald's, I'm loving it. You guys are great, man. I'm glad to be here, man. Any college students out there tonight? Y'all a little old to be students. It's probably the way I phrase the question. Any college graduates out there tonight? Okay, that's six people. Welcome to the third annual GED convention, ladies and gentlemen. I am your recruiter from DeVry Institute, also known as the 13th grade. All you need to get into DeVry Institute is a number two pencil. Your ass is in there. I was that kid in the special ed class in junior high school. I was the one putting M&Ms in alphabetical order. <laughs> I got a job in the M&M factory. I got fired for throwing away the W's. <laughs> I went through some shit back in the day, I'm telling you. I live up in Harlem, I never get any sleep. Man, between the Freaking Dominicans on top of me and the bodegas. Round of applause if you ever been in a bodega. Everybody clap. I didn't say clap if you own a bodega, but thank you so much. Now y'all know like I know, bodegas have the oldest damn groceries in the world, right? That shit has been on the shelf for 27 years. I went there this morning to get a box of Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. This box of Wheaties was so damn old, Joe Frazier was on the box. Joe was on the box. On the box of Uncle Ben's rice. Uncle Ben had an afro. Like, how long has this shit been here? I'm trying to get my cream of wheat off the shelf on a trip because a cat is walking behind me in the damn store. You always see that, man. Only in the hood. But I learned my Spanish really good in the 90s. That's when I learned it, boy. Looking at Telemundo, Univision. Con la mega, no se juega. I used to watch Channel 47 in 1998, when one particular current event was always in the news. And that's how I learned it, looking at Telemundo, the news. Noticias de Puerto Rico. Buenas noches. Esta noche tenemos más problemas con Bill Clinton. Chichando con todo el mundo. Cogiendo nalgas, putiendo tetas. Chichando todos los días, el lunes al domingo. Con Monica Lewinsky. Fumando un cigarro con sus otros labios, ¡ay caramba! 
I used to watch that intently. And I was not happy until I saw, Mira, quien está aquí, Yolanda Vega. I love watching Channel 47, especially how emphatic Colombian men got on those damn coffee commercials. That was really interesting. Café Bucelo, un señor café, un café con clase. Café Bucelo, S.A.S. Riquísimo, pero con cojones, man, man. I'm like, Juan, cámate, cámate, señor Valdez. They did not play around. You guys need to be married so I can share my married thoughts with you. Married life is no joke. I only have one problem with marriage. Three little letters. They're called P.M.S. For those of you who don't know, it means punish my spouse. I don't know what happens, women, if you get hormonal right before your friend comes, your aunt from Red Bank, sitting there looking at TV. You don't know whether you want salt or sugar. You're eating haagen and Ritz crackers, looking at the Lifetime channel in high definition. Then out of nowhere, y'all get horny. So men, if you're around for those six minutes, you better take advantage of that shit. You get some of the best sex you ever had in your life. You'll get compliments and insults at the exact same time. <laughs> I'm like, what? Who's is it? Who's is it? Who's ass? Who's is it? Who's is it, girl? She said, you don't know him. <laughs> like, you talking crazy. Last night you said I was the best. She said, no, I said you tried your best. <laughs> they don't play around. See this nice little bottle? The bartender was nice enough to pour a whole thing of Grey Goose in here for me. I really appreciate that. I don't know how well it's going to mix with my Zoloft, Nexium, or Prozac, but it's all good. Yeah, I know, right? You get to be our age, 50 and over. No matter what's wrong with you, they got a pill for it. They got a pill. Fellas, caballeros, if your elevator no longer goes to the top floor, they got a pill for that shit too. Just don't do what I did. I bought mine bootleg. Hunts Point, the Bronx, across the street from this club called The Wedge. I took that shit, bootleg Viagra, and it got stuck in my throat. I had a stiff neck for three damn days. I was mad as hell, boy. My wife kept putting me in a head scissors every chance she got. The advantages of being over 50 years old, though, aren't they? Come on, don't act like I'm the only one in this house that got an AARP card. That shit got me 20% off in Red Lobster. I was real glad to get it. I like that, boy. That was a nice thing. I heard I was doing an all Latino event, and I got here, and I have to say, I was a little disappointed. I thought it was going to be real... Real, I know it's a fundraiser, but I expected some shit because I don't do all Latin venues all the time. I'm picturing in my head since last week walking in here and there's like three trays filled with different types of empanadas. <laughs> Red sauce, green sauce. Oh shit, I was thinking I was going to have me a nice pineapple mojito up in here. They're like, look, take this little ass bottle of water from Costco and shut the hell up. They teasing you with all kind of liquor, and every one of them bottles is fucking empty. <laughs> oh man, homie, my mind's playing tricks on me. You guys are good, man. You're better than me, because I'm sweating like a hungry muslim holding a pork chop. It is hot up here. I am sweating like a lesbian eating a hot dog. It is hot. Loosen up, loosen up, loosen up. I like, I had a couple of Spanish girlfriends, they were nice, man. Because they, they, they see you and they get curious. You know, six foot five, 290 pounds. I got size 13 feet. So they think they're going to, you know, have a little bit of an adventure. And they get me home, they're like, come on, my they go down there and say, things are tan grande que tú tienes, yo no quiero, pero ahora mismo. And I take off my clothes and they're like, ¿qué pasó, muchacho? ¿Qué tú vas a hacer con este salchicha, hombre? Tú no tienes nada. I could have had a V8. Ya, ya, ya. Sale, 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 sale. The black women are worse. They think I got some shit. I take it out there. They're like, say what? Oh, hell no. I'm not going to miss scandal over this little shit right here. 
I'm gonna see what Kerry Washington is doing right now. You take that shit back and get you an upgrade. I'm not cool with that. <laughs> they don't play around, man. This is what, fall? Fall is good, because Christmas is coming. And us parents and grandparents, we dread Christmas, right? Kids want every freaking thing they see on television. I'm gonna do like I did last year. I did all my Christmas shopping at the 99 cent store. <laughs> I went in there and got my kids some serious retro gifts. I got my son the bag with 500 green army men in it. You remember that shit that had like 500 men? My favorite was the dude with the grenade. He was like this. Two dollars. I got my daughter a used Baby Alive doll. Y'all remember Baby Alive? The doll comes with food for a little while. Then after a while, the doll runs out of food and your daughter's like, Daddy, I need food for my doll. I'm like, listen here, Monique, either you eat or the doll eats. That's just as simple as the shit is. I bought you a doll now, I'm freaking meals on wheels all of a sudden. I'm running a soup kitchen because I bought your ass a doll, is what you're telling me. You gotta realize as adults, something else I was thinking of the other day. We're all very discerning, somewhat college educated, three married people in this room. Y'all know. At this point of your life, senor, ricamente vestido, cartoons are not made for children. They're not. They have serious adult subliminal messages, and they always have. Take one that we all knew and grew up with. Popeye the Sailor Man. You got Popeye and Bluto fighting all the time over what? A crackhead, olive oil. <laughs> olive oil was 96 pounds soaking wet with bricks in her pocket. Even Sesame Street was a little suspect. What was up with Bert and Ernie? Two grown ass men in a bathtub together. Rubber ducky, you are the one. That's the big chick there. Even the commercials, for those of us 45 and over, had subliminal messages. Mr. Clean. Sorry, Latinos. Maestro Olimpio. Mr. Clean was a good looking white dude, big bald head, bushy eyebrows, tight white t-shirt, one earring, and he only had one question for America's housewives. Is it wet or is it dry? <laughs> he ain't talking about the damn floor. He wanted to make a house for it. He's like, I'm gonna do a top job on that ass as soon as we smoke. <laughs> but as kids who went right over our head, we never thought twice about it. Is it wet or is it dry? I tell you, boy, they can sneak some stuff by you that really can. Anybody out there celebrating birthdays this month? No, just me? Right there? Cumpleaños, happy birthday. And I'm doing it the right way. Faith to faith. Faith to you. Happy birthday. It's a pronunciation that's put effect for happy birthday. And I'm going somewhere with this. That's how you wish somebody happy birthday. Not this bullshit that you see on Facebook nowadays. You've been friends with somebody for 25 freaking years. It's your millennium special freaking milestone birthday and on your Facebook wall, they're gonna write HBD. I wrote back TY. She wrote back YW. The whole birthday salutation took seven damn letters. And I wouldn't be so upset, but that was my wife. That shit hurt my feelings, bro. I swear to God. That, like, you standing right next to me. You can't just say this shit. You're right there. <laughs> just doesn't make any sense, man. But you guys are a great crowd. You having fun supporting me? He said, yeah. Yeah. Good looking women of every age. Nice, but I'm disappointed. Because there ain't no big women out there. I like my women big. 350 pounds or better. And none of y'all qualify. But I saw one today on Fordham Road, walking down the block, wearing apple bottom jeans. Ass look more like apple sauce. She didn't get a shit. Not to be jelly, because jam don't shake like that. I'm like, damn girl, you look good. Nice tits. She said, thanks, you too.
Man, the people who put this thing together as a fundraiser with a very, very good cause, give them all a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank them so much. I am grateful to them. As for those of you who have been paying attention, my name is Adam Phillips. If you're on Instagram, friend me. If you're on Twitter, follow me. If you're on Facebook, friend me. If you're on MySpace, get a life. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's my time.